Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2020 video. We have hopefully sorted a mic pop issue that you had before. If not, you'll hear it again. Do apologise. We'll get round to it. This is a run by a guy called Michael Shields. The scenario is available on you. Uh, oh, uh, AlanThompsonSim.com And it's a run down the Gainsborough line. It's uh, very simple. It just says drive the 156 to Sudbury. Which is a total distance of 11.68 miles. It's an hourly service. So let's get the doors open. Let's get our master key in. Into neutral. That sounds like a 360 behind us. Here we are at Mark's Tay. We're on the way down to Sudbury. Let's get uh, you, you, you. You again. You again. There we go. I don't know the code for Sudbury. Can we do it with just F8 and that on this? There we go. Right, DRA off. You into forward. Instrument lights on. Into step one. Right, let's get going. Starting on a tight Benzo was a little bit tricky. So the route itself is um, part of the Crouch Valley version 3, which is available on the UKTS. That's where I was getting the UKTS bit from earlier. All a bit daft, wasn't it? Oh, speeding, come on. Could be at 50, thank you. We'll ignore some of the wonkier speed limits. Now the games were aligned, it's quite odd. There's there's two from what I can work out. Um, it's Jake Fuller, the guy who actually did the track patch for this. Uh, always mentions when I do this route, he says, Oh, the games were aligned near me, and he's out Scarborough way, I think. That was one of those 10 mile an hour crossing boards, wasn't it? And this is the one that's in Suffolk. So this is Sudbury Marks Tay. But still, even though it's an old route, I really do like it. It's got really bad gradients. It's got no super elevation, but got a bit of charm for me, if I'm honest.
I would love it for somebody to go back and work on the Crouch Valley line. I don't know whether it'd be worth upgrading or sort of ripping up and starting again, really. Rip me up and start again. This is a short platform, I can never remember. No. This is Chapel. It's home of the East Anglian Railway Museum, somewhere I've never been. That's why it's got bits like this. I wonder what they've got there. I'll have to have a look at that. I'll look that up afterwards. Or if anybody has been there, is it worth going and having a look at? It wouldn't be that hard for me to get here, isn't it? So it's just little touches in this route I really like. Retro ticket machine. I haven't used one of those in a few years. Door bounce. Slippy up there. I think this is actually the first time I've driven one of the great Wrangler units in uh, the AP pack. I haven't done much SMR, but I don't have a head code.
fair old climb up here, isn't it? She's struggling. I'm not <laughs> sure how accurate these gradients are. I will just add add to that. One in fifty seven. Viewers, it's my next stop. Get me a viewer. Should be a female. Very lucky there's nothing on that crossing that we've just come flying up to at that speed. In fact, wasn't it one of the crossings on here that had that running with this sewage tanker, wasn't it? Yeah, in Suffolk. Sudbury to Mark's Tay. At the little Conrad level crossing near the village of... It was that level crossing! That's cool. Quite a few people got hurt though. The ten people were injured, one seriously. It was probably the driver. Well, the look of that front cab. Here we are at Bureau's. So what would have that been called? So let's call it the... Yeah, 
was the Little Conrad derailment it was called. Twenty three people aboard the train were injured, five of them seriously, including the driver. The lorry driver was subsequently jailed and disqualified for driver causing the accident after he admitted to having not used the crossing for telephone to obtain permission for the signalman to cross the railway. Oh, I just checked the unit number there. So, 17.33, British Standard Time, British Summer Time, uh, on the 17th of August 2010, at Class 156 Super Sprinter Diesel Multiple Unit, number 156417, was in a collision with a tanker lorry that was on a level crossing on the Gainsborough Line, approximately halfway between Sudbury and Bure Station. Oh, it's this end then, we haven't passed it yet then. The lorry was proceeding from a sewage works adjacent to the line towards Bure's Road. The train was 2 Tango 27 and was operating the 1731 National Express East Anglia service from Sudbury to Mark's Tate, an hourly service on the single track route. At the time of the crash, the train was travelling at approximately 40 miles per hour and the driver had applied the emergency brake a few seconds before, having realised the lorry was not going to stop before entering the crossing and thus had been able to slow the train from a speed of 50 miles per hour. The first carriage of the two-car train derailed as a result of the collision. The lorry was overturned. Although the driver had been able to warn passengers in the front carriage to brace, like I'm about to do, not pay attention, brace for an imminent impact, the conductor and 21 passengers were injured. Injured to the driver and four other passengers were serious and two others stayed overnight in hospital. The Essex Air Ambulance was among the emergency services that attended the scene. This aircraft was used to transfer one patient to Colchester General Hospital and another to Addenbrooke's Hospital. Way! Driver suffered a broken back and one passenger said injuries were described as life threatening. Six other victims were kept overnight at Colchester General Hospital and the seventh stayed overnight in West Suffolk at Bury. Jeez. It's 58 miles and 36 chains from Liverpool Street. 56 miles and 62 chains. Right. So Ipswich Crown Court, <coughs> he pleaded guilty to endangering the safety of the railway. He was granted conditional bail. On 26 November he was sentenced to 15 month in prison and disqualified for driving for three years. All because he didn't use a phone to uh, use work crossing. We've always done, we've all done things in our job to try and cut a bit of time or save a bit of time, but come on. Well, the network rail got a bit of a ribbon as well. This must be it here. Does that look like it could go down to a sewage works? 
Does indeedy. There we are. That is the level crossing. Where it happened. Even got the angling water signs there. Look, see, won't it? Angling water sewage works beautifully. Oh, slidey, slidey. little climb before we get into Sudbury itself. That was a tad close. Oh, that one. It was all right. I hear a clock ticking. Oh, I don't like that shot. I think I got a good one earlier, didn't I? Alright then guys, thank you ever so much for joining me on that one. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Head over to Alan Thompson Sim for this scenario, plus a whole load more. Freeware, payware, subware, you name it, it's there. Also join us over on Twitch on a Sunday night and a Wednesday night from 7pm. For a more adult themed sort of pub style atmosphere, talking about trains. Uh, also head over to the Facebook group, links in the description below. Once again guys, thanks ever so much. Catch you next time.